race uh, eight has been won by number eight, Royal Aussie, lovely and jovial um, bit of banter in the, the studio here. The son of Royal Mo wins a lovely race. Well done to Lucky, who receives his thousand rand from Hollywood Bets. Thanks to them and uh, Cape Racing. I've got all the owners here. But before we get to all of you, Justin, um, while we wait for Richard to come back, I'm sure he will, but um, if we can just uh, get going with him, a lovely win from him today, you know, especially coming from a little bit off the pace. Yes, very much so. The, the winter track today has been tricky, I'm not going to lie. It's a big adjustment um, coming, you know, some of the junctions and stuff, it's, some of the horses are getting used to it again. Uh, but this certainly made, made up for what's been a little bit quiet in the middle parts of today's racing. I was very impressed with this win. The, these horses are all very, very um, accomplished horses, should I say. Um, the pacemaker had it all his own up front uh, and uh, very, very impressed to see him come through like that. Um, we'll have a chat to the owners. The, the whole idea was to wait a little bit longer in the Cape season and then decide what to do with him. Um, because he is still a little bit on the immature side and I just don't think he's a horse that would have adjusted in enough time for the Natal season. We, we're going there quite late, so you've you got to adjust quite quickly and I just don't think he's that type of horse. Um, but um, now we can we can decide what to do with them. So it'd be very interesting. We'll have a chit chat with everyone and <laughs> <laughs> decide what's the best way forward for him. He's been a fantastic horse, and I want to say thank you to Grant for pin hooking him and then selling him. At the time, Grant thought he was doing well, getting 320,000 for him. He'd made a big uh, um, profit on what he paid for this horse. Thanks, Grant. <laughs> a few million later. <laughs> Only five million later. <laughs> we all make those mistakes, but it's amazing that you get a horse like that that just gives and gives and gives more, and the new person takes over and it gives, and uh, there's, it's just one of those beautiful stories. So well done to everyone here, and I just want to say welcome to Barcy and Suzette. They're now locals, and uh, what a way to start there. And I wish them the absolute best. Um, they're uh, on a most beautiful farm that has a lot of history with the snakes. And I just want to wish them uh, in their whole endeavor that they've taken on. There are going to be times you're going to think you've made a mistake, I'm sure. <laughs> but we wish you the best of luck. And to um, John and Jill, well done. And to your partners as well that sadly can't be here, uh, well done. And to Royal Mo, I think uh, you've got to give testament to the stallion as well. That's produce what is a very nice horse. Justin, well done. Excellent. Thank you very much. Richard, uh, sorry, you're all standing in the wings, but Richard needs to uh, get going for the, <laughs> the last race. Uh, Richard, well done. Thank you very much. As I said to Justin, it, I thought he won a particularly good race today, coming from a bit off them and, and tackling good sorts. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, carry 58 and a half is a three-year-old. Um, but, uh, you know, everything that's ran with him and around him, like David the King, they've all come out in once. Uh, uh, the form is strong. Uh, it was a bit of a stop-start race for me just before the before the top of the straight, but he just showed serious determination and grit, and I thought he won a fashion uh, race today. So well done to everybody involved. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, it's just a lovely horse, and he's uh, well on his way to, to start him. Well, I'm sure you enjoy being partnered with him. All the best. <laughs> thank you very much. And then also thank you to Justin and Jono and the team back at home. Uh, much appreciated. And obviously to my sponsor, Winning Form. Thank you. There you go. Well done. Next, sorry, the very patient owners. Come forward. We'll chat to you all, but uh, well done for the win. Hi, hi, Vicky. Thank you so much. Um, Suzette just said to me, I better not ever turn up for a race without the pink trousers now. So. <laughs> it is now your uniform. <laughs> it is my uniform. Very proud of the horse. Um, so many thanks to, to Justin and the whole of the Snaith team um, and, and to Richard for an amazing ride. Absolutely fantastic. Yes. Well, I hope that uh, your pink pants and you come racing much more, well, a lot uh, often, and especially with the horse when he runs again. <laughs> well, actually, Vicky, we're just about to head back to the UK. So I think the rain is to get us acclimatised to, <laughs> to heading back in that direction. So, Well, safe travels, and we'll look forward to your return. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then uh, if you, you can just step over, and then I'll get uh, Suzette. Suzette, well done. Oh, thank you so much. And I just want to say um, congratulations to Dane. He's in Australia, and I'm... I know he, he's been watching and um, just to say well done partner, it was a lovely race and um, Justin and his whole team, um, you know, they, they just keep on producing and um, just want to say thank you to them and to be in partnership with Jill and John, it's, it's such a lovely, you know, this must be fun. Yes. And, um,
because it's not always fun, but it's so much fun to be in partnership with them. And uh, yeah, um, Justin mentioned Grant, so we, I'm, I'm really happy because um, Royal Aussie is family of a horse that I own. And um, I just wanted to buy him on the sale, and Barcy said, oh, no. <laughs> and um, then Sue came, and I said, Sue, please talk to Barcy and go and have a look. And she said, you know what, Barcy, I think you can buy him. So I'm so glad that um, Grant, you know, give us the opportunity um, to buy him. And um, so we want to, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for, for um, you know, Royal Aussie for producing every time. Richard, you know, he's so close to my heart. Um, and when he, when he rides one of my horses, it just feels like it's, it's family that's on family. So it's, it's such a lovely feeling. And um, it's lovely to be in Cape Town, wet. So maybe, maybe th this was my introduction. <laughs> well, in Zulu tradition, rain means a blessing. So it's a good start. Yeah, no, definitely it is. Well, Suzette, uh, sorry to, to all just um, uh, take us through your, your move here and your, your venture on your farm. So we um, decided to buy Arkansas. Um, we just, we're still adjusting and um, we're going to have a stud farm. It's going to be hopes and dreams stud. Because um, I think when you buy a horse, it is your hopes and your dreams that, that are running there or walking around there, the, the weanlings. You, you know, it's the dream that... It was always my dream, and um, you know, Barsi said one day he'll he'll produce my dream, and I have to thank him for it because um, I didn't think it will come true for him to leave everything where you know he was born on the farm with we are. We still have the farm, but he moved up and he and he started this dream um, for me. Um, on Monday morning, I woke up and I went outside and he said where are you going i said i'm just quickly going to the horses because i have to make sure i'm here <laughs> so um, but yeah we we learning slowly well we wish you all the best and it's a beautiful farm and uh, welcome to the cape thank you so much. i'm sure we're gonna enjoy it that's definitely a good start so all the best thank you so much and then if you don't mind uh, thank you very much is it uh, last time i spoke to all of you you're holding up a, a really big check <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> that, that was uh, Stunning, and it's even more stunning now that he's carrying on. And we have to say thank you to Clave of Lay for, for breeding this horse. Royal Mo is a rather magnificent looking stallion. And great, this is so good for the future. And it was such a good ride by Richard. He rode him so well, finding the space and then coming. And the last run in was hands and heels, which is always great to watch. It definitely is, and I think as Suzette said, it was the, definitely the theme through the summer was it's not always about the, the winning, but it's who you're racing with, and I think that's the wonderful part about this partnership. Yes, it is, absolutely. We believe in having fun at the races, win or lose, you know, we shoot the booze, but we, in other words, we have a really good time, and it's been great with Suzette and Barcy to, to have a share. We saw Royal, uh, Royal Aussie uh, at the ready to run sale and we thought his, his was really the best that you could see of all the horses in that sale and when we realized that they were buying the horse we said please can we come in as well and, and they thankfully said yes so that's been great for for us and so thank you Suzette thank you well I know what uh, you'll be, all be doing now a little bit of celebrating so all the best absolutely we will and thank you Grant <laughs> well done thank you okay well done that's all the connections such a lovely story all around uh, from all the partners and wish, wishing uh, wishing Suzette and uh, Barcy all the best on their farm hopes and dreams look forward to uh, what's to come from there but number eight Royal Aussie son of Royal Mo bred by Clava Flay owned by um, Suzette, uh, Dr. Warner and uh, also Dane Squance. Well done, Richard, before he was aboard.